stations A and B are 90 kilometers apart. A car starts from A and another car from B at the same time. If they go in the same direction, they meet after 9 hours. And if they go in the opposite directions, they meet after 1 to 7th hour. Find the speed of the cars. So one car will have speed X and the other one will have speed Y. So in order to solve a question like 5C, we need to draw the diagram. So this is station A and this is station B and they are 90 kilometers apart. Now car A and car B both start in the same direction. So car A starts from A, it will go like so. And let us say they meet at C and car B will go like so. They are meeting at C, which means that if you consider car A and car B with the same directions, the time for A to go from here to here is 9 hours. So B also is going very slowly and he also takes 9 hours. So time for B also is 9 hours. The speed of A, let us say it is X kilometers per hour and speed of B, let us say is Y kilometers per hour. Now distance is equal to speed into time. We have done that even in physics, right? So distance becomes this into this. So that is 9x kilometers. And for distance for the car from B, it will go 9 into Y kilometers. The car from A travels more distance than the car from B. So I'll write distance A is greater than distance B. And so distance A, which is 9x, minus distance B which is 9y is equal to this distance AB which is 90. So in our equation you will see 9 is a common factor so you divide the whole thing by 9. So we will have x minus y equal to 10 and that's our equation 1. Now if they go in opposite direction car A will go this way and car B will go this way. And when they meet, they are meeting after 1 to 7th of the hour, which means time for both of them. Now, A is going to travel more distance. B is going to travel more distance because you remember, A travels so much distance in the same time as B. So, A obviously has more speed. So, A will travel more. B will travel less, but the time taken will be the same. So the distance of A and distance of B will be total from here to here means 90 kilometers. So that is the important step. If you draw the diagram, you will understand. So if we are going in the opposite direction, we are going to have time for A is 1 to 7th, which is 9 upon 7 and time for B is 1 2 7th which is the same. Distance for A will be now the speed of A remains x. So it will be distance equal to speed into time. So 9 upon 7 multiplied by x that is 9x upon 7 and the distance for the car from B will be this time multiplied by its speed which is y. So 9 upon 7 into y kilometers. Now both the distances as I explained to you a little while ago will be equal to the distance AB. So distance A means this plus distance B means this is equal to distance AB means 90. Can you see 9 upon 7? 9 upon 7 is a common factor. So you divide the whole thing by 9 upon 7. So 9 and 7 will get cancelled leaving x here. Here 9 and 7 will get cancelled leaving y here and here it becomes 90 into 7 upon 9. So 9 once and 9 10. So you'll have 70. That is our equation 2. Now can you see this equation number 1? So we write that equation number 1 here. So x minus y is equal to 10. That's our equation 1. Now y has positive and negative signs. So we will add these and y gets cancelled. So we will have 2x is equal to 70 plus 10 that is 80 giving us x equal to 80 upon 2 which is 40. We substitute x equal to 40 in this equation. So 40 plus y is equal to 70. So y is equal to 70. 40 goes that side so minus 40 which is equal to 30. 
So we write the speed of car A is x, which is 40 kmph. See there? And speed of car B is y, which is 30 kmph. And that is our answer.